Hello everyone, I'm here with another tutorial from series of the Kikilov and in this video I'm going to show you how you can configure the event log in Kikilov and uh, how you can see this data and also if you want to fetch this data through the API how you can uh, capture this data. If you are interested in this topic, please stay with me. Let's get started. First, you would need to log into your credential as an admin and after you logged in in the admin console you have to come to the event part and come to the config and also here you can see the event list listeners it's by default is added you don't need to do anything here you need to save events keep it as a on and then you will see the save types these are different types of the log as you observe here there are uh, so many items like a log in log out and for for client delete and, and so on so based on your desired log you can add or also you can delete these logs topics after that also you can clear the events sometimes maybe is full and then you just want to clear these events so it, it's possible to do that but for reading the events definitely you have to save it if you are not saving that so you are not able to read these events here you should tell them to to the uh, okay how long i need to keep this event here you can say minute hour or day you will tell them okay one day two days or whatever or maybe one hour uh based on your uh, desire then uh, you have to keep uh, save events as a on and also include representation this what that means uh this is for admin event when you update or create uh the the client and so or even you um, add the one user so this information will come here in admin event so this part is uh, related to that item and then uh, you have the clear admin event for the, the clear the the admin event which i shown to you and here is you can clear the changes or save after you save then for the uh, the login and all the events which you configured it will come here and you can see here, for example, there are some docking for the client. Uh, if it's uh, log in, log out, and so on, whatever is uh, captured at here, it's possible to see. And as I explained, admin event is for creating the user or updating and so on. The next step, which I want to show you is about uh, how you can fetch this data through the API. Okay, so I want to use the Postman for uh, this operation. Okay, now if you want to fetch the data for the log event, first you need to get the token. Uh, so this is the URI, which you will find it in the Kikilog server and if you don't know how to find it, please watch my first video about the uh, uh, about the API. I will uh, drop that video link below of the, this video. You can watch it how you can find it. So first you need to get the token. So in this regard, you should have the client ID, the name of your client, and then also the secret. Uh, after that, Mm, you need to define mm, the method uh, then you need to get the API 
and copy this API here and then you would need come to another endpoint this endpoint you will see it here also uh, this is in documentation of the Kikilo uh, is available but it is not you can uh, get some sample from here this is the the way you need this is the name of your client and at the end you need to write down the events I mean that after the real you need to write down the smart and then after that you have to write events so uh, for this authorization you need to get the to uh, select the token part and then paste your token here and since it's uh, only the get method you need to get the get method so you didn't need to configure anything just you need to send and here you go you can see that here there's a time there's the type of the client login now it's a client login and this what is the client id session id ip address and so on and also there are some others like a logout uh if you want uh, to see the login yeah this is the login which user this is the client this is the rail and this is the user id this is the user id which you they will tell you and this is the username yes iot is the username which i logged into the key clock yeah this is the for this tutorial and in the next tutorial which I would like to uh, to show you is about the how you can ingest this data of the API which you can see here as a JSON format to external app and then you will see this uh, event log as a log of the user in your app uh, if you are interested uh, in that at that topic, you can watch my channel, and I will make another video and I will make it uh, update. Uh, so, if you have any question in this regard, and if you think something is uh, unnecessary to be explained, please let me know in the comment. Then definitely, I will reach out to you if mm, I can I will make a video or I will uh, response on your comments thank you for watching this video and see you in the next next one